I give the call to the honourable member for Ryan. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Environment Minister. Recently, you quietly issued, late on a Friday afternoon, your decision to approve Labor Party donor Santos a licence to frack 116 uh, new gas wells in Queensland until 2077. The International Energy Agency recently showed that Australia's methane emissions from coal and gas could be 60 per cent higher than now accounted for. Why are you approving new gas wells? That will make the climate crisis worse. Hear, hear. <laughs> Give the call to the Minister for the Environment and Water. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I think the first thing to say is that imputation is unworthy yeah. and insulting. The second thing I'd like to point out to the honourable member Order. is that the project she's talking about is a 1.3 per cent expansion of a project that's been going for eight years. A 1.3 per cent expansion of a project that has been going for eight years. To listen to the member opposite, you'd think it was something quite left. different. But I will say to the Greens, as they're sitting there feeling self-righteous, that the very best thing the Greens political party could do if they were really interested in climate change in this country is back the government's safeguard yeah. mechanism. Yeah. Those sitting Order. up there in that corner should not make the same mistake they made in 2009 when they voted with Tony Abbott and Barnaby Joyce to block action on climate change. Because what they delivered last time was more emissions for longer and a Liberal government. That's what they delivered last time. I am proud of what we're doing on this side of the parliament. It's the Albanese Labor government that is delivering real action on climate change with a legislated path to net zero emissions. With a, uh, with a pledge on methane, with real action to protect the ozone layer, with $20 billion to rewire the nation so we can put more renewable energy into our electricity market, with $3 billion in the National Reconstruction Fund to support uh, low emissions technologies. Are you going to vote for that? Are you going to vote for the $3 billion for low emissions technologies? Why don't you answer that question? Order. The best thing, the, the best thing, the best thing that those opposite can do, if they sincerely want to see real action on climate change, is Order. support the government's safeguard mechanism. Don't make the same mistake as 2009. Back the National Reconstruction Fund and get on board for our measures addressing climate change. Yeah. Yeah. 